Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod here, man. Uh, if you watch my recent video, you guys know that I'm in Seattle right now. I'm awaiting to go to PAX. PAX starts tomorrow. But today I want to talk about this NBA 2K17 news that's been dropping hella crazy for the last couple days. Now, for the last few days, I've been preparing, packing, and getting myself together. I couldn't make no videos. Like, I was at work, at home, watching the kids, gaming, recording massive Madden 17 content for y'all. But the first thing I want to talk about is all these videos coming out by all the community team up members that went to NBA 2K17 team up day. So basically, I watched just about everybody's videos. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link every single person inside the description that made videos for this community team update and you guys got to check them out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but I'm going to basically go over a few things from them. So basically, my Twitter was going crazy. Like, I mean, if you're not following me, follow me at iPodKingCarter.com or some shit. What is it called? What they call that, John? Twitter.com? Yeah. Twitter.com slash iPodKingCarter. So... Basically, they was talking about the blocking. They was talking about the rebounding. They was talking about the new dribble mechanism, the way things are set up. They're talking about the new layup aiming. They're talking about aiming your jump shots because if you use the analog, you have a better chance and better rewards at making shots than pressing square. It's just so much information going on. And I just don't know what to say. Like, like I literally need to make a video of me on a green screen and just watching people's videos and reacting to them i want to do it so bad that's really not my lane though like i really don't like reacting to other content creators videos because i feel like they put they work in man so all i can really say is that me i've been an analog person i love shooting with the analog but towards the end of 2k's cycle i started using square a lot and when i got release 27 everybody know about release 27 i started making a hell of a lot of shots i was using analog so i'm gonna probably be one of those players that get used to using the analog now when it comes to boxing out rebounding and stuff like that i don't know how to do that with my center because i'm pretty okay on the boards that's not really that much craziness about it but when they were talking about being able to tip pass off a rebound not just tipping but tip pass like you grab the ball off a rebound and pass it out like smack it out you know what i'm saying they do that in the nba but it's not as accurate as some people were saying some people were saying that it was darn near 100 percent accurate like all the time like you could literally do it as many times as you want tip the ball to yourself you can do that all the time and other people had a hard chance of getting the ball if you were a better rebounder you got the position and stuff like that um the aiming your layups so basically a lot of people were talking about that you're gonna kind of get used to it it's not that crazy um a lot of people said that basically it's all about timing whereas though when you're getting the contact and you're about to go for an and one layup that's when the aiming your layups come more into a factor like if you get a steal and you're on a fast break you want to lay it up or you blow by your defender nobody's there to um for help out defense and you just want to lay it up they say you really don't have to worry about the meter you'll probably make it 100 percent of the time now another thing that they were talking about was the dribbling they said and I'm, I'm i'm holding every single community member accountable they said that the bump still is going Bump steals are gone, okay? I'm holding y'all accountable. They say it's gone, it's gone. Next thing, they said when you chain your dribbles together, no more auto hesitations, no more, you know, just one move and then like you can do another move and chain that together. They said the stamina is supposed to be crazy in this game. So if you trying to mix somebody out and you straight up F up and try to shoot the ball and you ain't got no more stamina left, air balls happen. Um, you're definitely gonna miss hella bad. But my thing is, even if you have bad stamina and you get a green release, what happens then? You know what I'm saying? What if you can dictate a green release during their 90% of the time mixing people? That's what might happen at the park if this can actually happen. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are really good at chaining together moves and being able to shoot. I don't know anybody that, that plays 2K, that plays over... 19,000 games stuff like like people that are legend fives and people that play at the stage every day if you have More than I would say 800 games played at the park You're a good 2k player if you have a good record like a lot of people think like oh you have to be skilled to do this I've been playing 2k since it first came out. 
I would consider myself a skilled player, but it's not like I'm the only person on the earth that is skilled. There's many people that's skilled in 2K out here. They don't just be chucking up shots. A lot of people can body dogs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just don't understand why people keep saying you gotta be skilled. You gotta be skilled. Like, are we talking like eight years old to like somebody that's like 17? Or are we talking about like competitive like gamer compared to a casual gamer? Like, what are we comparing skill to? Because if you practice enough, you can get good at the game. You know what I'm saying? The game's gonna be out for a full year. You know what I'm saying? You could practice on one thing each month and perfect it. So by the time the mid-season of the game is out, you could be good at everything. You could be good at the post game. You could be good at dribbling. You could be good at shooting. You could be good at laying up. You could be good at reading defense, stealing. You know what I'm saying? All of that. So I don't know. But the last thing before I get up out of here, a lot of people were saying at the 2K community team up was that when they were using L2, L2 to play defense, they were getting a lot of fouls. Now, my thing is, L2 is an aggressive way to play defense. L2 means you're crowding the offensive player. It's been like that for years. But what L2 actually helps is when players do these chain moves, you un you unengage L2 to just stand still. And once their chain is done, you press L2 again so you can bump up on them. But what is this? What 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 happens when you do this or when you crowd a defender? You're really fouling them. That's what happens in real life. Like you, when you're giving people them that that hit bump and stuff like that, when you're that's a foul. So I can understand why 2K would implement that in their game. It's just everybody that was so used to using L2 last year are gonna be pissed. Like just imagine a power forward or center having a switch with somebody at the park or the or the or the rec or pro am when you come out and you think you can stay in front of this point guard and you press L2 and all he do is lower his shoulder and try to run like around you it's a foul every time they gonna be fouling people bigs out like crazy you know what I'm saying so I, hey I don't know man I need a hands-on you know what I'm saying it's a lot of footage out here leaking in the game I will not be linking no leak footage you know what I'm saying nothing like that because your boy ain't trying to get no strikes out here in these streets. But, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that made a video from the 2K community team up is going to be inside the description. You're going to get all their point of views, everything like that. And I just can't wait to get my hands on as well, man. But um, remember, September 9th, prelude is coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be creating a couple characters, you know what I'm saying, that day. But it's going to be litty. But uh, this is IKC signing out. Hope I didn't take up too much of y'all time. Make sure you like the video. If anybody lives in the Seattle area, I'm going to be at PAX West until the 6th. So if you want to meet up with me or whatever, hit me up on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.